Hey, what's up, family? Got one for you today. Check this one out. I'm going to title this one real simple. What's your name? Yeah, you heard me loud and clear. What's your name? Now, what I'm going to be talking about in that what's your name is the importance of knowing and acknowledging someone by their name. Because you got to remember, <clears throat> we all dealt with this, seen this, heard this to some degree, and not realizing just how respectful or disrespectful it really could be. And you're not taking it into account. Because you got to remember, those times, remember all them times <clears throat> when you was out at the Home Depot, you was out at the grocery store, you was out at the mall, and you just happened to run across an old acquaintance, right? And when they seen you, they said, hey, hey, Bob, what's going on, Bob? See, they address you. Your name is Bob. They address you by Bob. They, whatever. Your name's Mike. Your name's Tom. Your name's Sarah, Jessica, Michelle, whatever the case, right? Whatever your name is. Whenever someone sees you out in the public, they address you by your name. They didn't say, hey, because, you know, we can't stand these people who always act like they can't remember your name. And but meanwhile, the point I'm getting at is that they address you by your name. But every time you address them, you always refer to them as, hey, or um, you just start talking because you go, oh, I remember their name. Now, every once in a while, someone addresses you about that. They actually be like, yo, do you even know my name? Because I'll never hear you call my name, right? And you know what the most common things? Most people love to say this tired line. I wanted to cuss, but I'm going to keep it clean. They say this tired line. I can't stand it. Y'all heard this line before. Watch this. It's like coming from a female and a guy. This is the tired line that most people love to use. When someone's addressed you by your name, but you don't address them back. This is a female. This is what she has said. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm so, I apologize. I'm just so bad with names. You know, because don't get offended. I'm just real bad with names. I don't remember too many people's names. My family always said that I'm bad with names. That's a lie. Because you remember that guy or that woman name who owes you money, right? Anybody that was going to bring any type of prominence to your life, you remember their name, right? So knock it off. That is a level of disrespect when you keep not addressing that person by the name. Because you got to remember, when someone addresses you by their name, it is a sign of respect. And it's only reciprocal for you to get that respect back. And as always, you know, I love that you got word of the day. I may have used that one before, but I think this was perfect for this one. When someone show and give you respect, you reciprocate it back. So if you look up the word reciprocate, it simply means that tit for tat, you know, to respond to someone's uh, dialogue or actions in a corresponding way, you know, to give as much as you got, you know, uh, someone that likes tools, you know, you got a jigsaw, you got a mighty saw, you got a reciprocating saw, back and forth, saw that go back and forth, reciprocate back and forth. So. You get what I'm saying? Now, look at a guy. Because a guy, we say the same silly stuff. We say foolish, goofy stuff, such as something like this. Oh, man, yo, I apologize. I don't know your name, man. Yo, man, I'm real bad with names, man. That's a lie. You heard that from so many other people say that tired line that you picked it up. And that's the problem with a lot of us in society. We are copycats. We are we always copycatting what we see and hear other people say, and then we accept it as normal behavior. And you should not be accepting that as normal behavior. Be yourself. Be you. Stop doing and saying what you hear everybody else say and do. Because it's a simple thing of respect when someone takes the time that, remember, remember when you was all the way in a whole nother state at a concert. And while you're in the concert having a good time, all of a sudden you heard somebody yell from a crowded room, Michelle! And you're like, oh, somebody, who that? Somebody know me. This, there's a 50-50 chance that the girl Michelle she was yelling out is not you. It's another Michelle. But there's another 50% chance she is yelling out your name. And then when you see who it is, don't come with that stupid line saying, I'm bad with names. Because think about it. I'm going to give you something else to think about. All of us in here in the States got all the same names. Let's just be honest. We all got the same names. Think about it. Most common names, Michelle, Sarah. Jessica, Mike, Tom, Billy, Jamil. Come on, come on now, let's knock it. You want to do a Muslim name? Raheem, Muhammad, whatever. Inga, whatever. All the same names. It ain't like you from a different planet where you got to know somebody's name and their name is Ika Kaka Putukukuta. Knock it off. 
Everybody got the same name. So for the few people out there that do want to say I'm bad with names, watch this. Let's say that same girl, Mich that same girl yelled your name. Her name is Michelle. And when she seen you, she said, hey, what's up, Linda? But here it is Linda saying she don't remember Michelle's name. It's a real easy thing you got to do to remember someone's name. First of all, the first thing you do is remember, for them to remember your name is a sign of respect. And then you want to reciprocate that respect back. And let's say, okay, you did, you did forget her name, right? Okay, well, then you attach something to, you attach some type of memory to her name so that every time you see her, you go, that's how I remember her name. You know what I'm saying? Let's say the girl name is Michelle, right? You go, okay, I think uh, Barack Obama, the ex-president's wife, Michelle. So every time I see her, I think Barack Obama, and then the name will come to you. You get what I'm saying? For some guy, let's say some guy, uh, some guy addressed him, yo, yo, um, Mike, yo, what's up, Mike? But his name happens to be, what's another, what's another? Jesse. 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 Okay. Let's say his name is Jesse. And you're like, oh man, I forgot his name. Jesse. Okay. Attach something to Jesse. You know, Jesse Owens, Jesse James, you know, Je Je Jesse Jeans, whatever it is, you attach something that every time you see that person, you go, I'm going to think this to attach that to his name. That way I don't forget. But the one thing that you have to is do more than anything is reciprocate. Remember, back and forth. Return what has been given to you. You know what I'm saying? Responding to someone, um, actions or comments in a, a corresponding way. You return it back. You, someone respectful to you, you respectful to them. But one thing you don't do is you keep using that tired line that I, I hear people say all the time. I'm bad with names. That's, that's nonsense. Stop copying what you hear other people say. Because it's a real simple thing that someone sees you wherever and they address you by, their, by your name. Meaning they have some level of respect for you. Don't let that level of respect that they have for you. Now, every time that they see you, they address you as, hey, hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, how you doing, neighbor? Hey, what's going on? Because no, now they're saying to themselves, I'm not even going to bother saying your name because you, you don't say my name. So it's a real simple thing. I'm going to give, reciprocate. You giving out disrespect, I'm going to give disrespect back. You get what I'm saying? I remember my aunt used to say that when I was a kid. Don't call me, hey, I ain't no mf -er. You know, she would cuss. she go, I ain't no mf -er horse. Hey is for horses. That's what she used to say. She go, hey, it's for horses. My name ain't hey. My name is blah, 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 blah. This is what my name is. Doggone it. I address you as your name, then you address me as my name. Otherwise, don't call me at all, and I won't call you. That's how she, she used to be real aggressive with it. She used to crack me up. But yeah, that, she right. Don't be calling me hey. My name ain't hey. I address you by your name, right? Well, then you address me by my name. Like that episode on Friday when oh. the, his mother was saying, hey, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't yeah. call her name. And then remember, she's None like, them. call me when you get off work. And then remember, uh, she... Craig's mother was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like being phony with one another. Then that's what people do in this society. Be real phony. Because remember, when she, when Craig's mother first came out of the house, she was looking at her. She's like, now why is she dressed like that? She ain't got no business. <laughs> and that's what she's like, hey, girl. Why didn't you dress up by her name? And then she responded back, hey. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I take that as that they, it's not important to her. She's yeah. not important, so why and, would I want to know her name? And that's how a lot of people are in society. Yeah, you're not important to me, you're so not I'm, not even, I'm not even going to bother knowing your name. Yep. And see, that's why that's sometimes true. you got to show, you got to reciprocate what has been given to you. Exactly. So you want to give me a level of disrespect by never dressing by my name? Fine. Then I'm not going to dress you by your name. Exactly. You know, we got to be vulgar about it, but I'm not going to address you by your name. Now, you address me by my name, I make it a note to address you by your name. Because exactly. Because it's a sign of respect. But one thing that we cannot keep doing is acting naive, saying, I'm bad with names. That's nonsense. I'm going to let y'all go instead of keep dragging this on. Y'all get my point. Subscribe, share, like, and comment. Peace.